Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by the newest driver of On Point Motorsports. Of course, that's Caden Honeycutt. That was announced earlier today that he'll be in the 30 truck for, I believe, three races, Caden? Yeah, maybe even maybe even four. So three for sure, though. Okay. Um, what are those races? I know you'll be at Pocono in the excuse me, in the truck ne- ne- next week, but where are the other two at? Uh, the other one will be uh, Richmond and Kansas, uh, and possibly even Bristol. And uh, if we could sneak, probably Phoenix, hopefully at the end of the year, we're in an attempt to, to try it out. Um, but right now, we got these three races that we're going to uh, do uh, as of this moment. Um, so what led to this? What led to this opportunity? Well, you know, it's actually, you know, crazy. Um, they always that was the one that uh, Instagram messaged me and asked me and just blindly asked me and said, do you want to run any more races this year? And I told him, yeah, um, you know, I got those other two races that I have with at the time with G2G. And I was just, um, I was wanting to race any race that I possibly could. And um, he said, just give me a call. So I called him, me and my dad did. And uh, this was when I lived in Texas a, a week ago. And um we got him on a call. We talked to Bones the next day uh, with my marketing man, Rod Wortham, and we worked out a deal to run these three races and possibly four or five. And um, for next year, I, I'm really depending on myself to perform these three races, and hopefully this can turn into something even bigger for next year. So that's what I'm working really hard to uh, to make happen. So that's what we're going to do. That's how this came up, and we're going to make the most of it. So I know that you've uh, you've been in the truck series. You made your truck series debut earlier this year with G2G Racing. You kind of know what these trucks are like, but on a big track like Pocono, what's it going to be like for you? Well, it will certainly be different um, considering any, I was on Nashville uh, on June 24th. I don't uh, have any experience on anything a mile and a half and above. So it will definitely be different, but it's just like any other race, right? You got to figure it out and the grip levels are different. So um, I figured at Nashville, I kind of understood the grip level of what the truck can actually take. So hopefully when I go back, we're going to have some sim time upstairs, um, just on our racing. Um, we won't have the Toyota sim, but we'll have, we'll have good data before we go. And I'll have, I'll be prepared when I go for sure. So anything that will happen, um, you know, in practice, I'll try to get to it right away. And we'll just have to go from there. We'll be in the race no matter what. So uh, I'm not really worried about that. So it's just a matter of me uh, learning the racetrack and getting after it right away. All right. Uh, I know you're also eye racing as well um, with, um, you know, with RFK. I know. How, how is that? How is that going so far? Uh, it, you know, nothing with RFK. Okay, he's doing. Um, I just, I've just had the worst luck this year in the in coach in the coach season. Um, if it's not one thing, it's another. Um, Road America, my wheel broke. Uh, the wheel, the, uh, the race in Nashville, I, I broke before I even even took the green. The PC uh, literally broke. Um, and then uh, the Gateway had a didn't have any didn't have any track time. I had some stuff I had to do. Um, ended up finishing twenty first. Uh, Kansas, um, same same thing. Wheel uh, came unplugged. Right, was making a Q lap, started last, and got involved in a in a wreck while running 12th. Um, Bristol Dirt was Bristol Dirt, and wreck on lap five literally took us out from 11th. I think we were running. Um, Atlanta, we same thing. I was I was avoiding a wreck, got right hooked on the fence, and Daytona. We all wrecked in the last lot. So, you know, it, it's been a struggle this season. Um, not from the effort that I've put into it and my guys at Legacy Esports have put into it. Cynthia, Jared, Boyd, Chris, um, they've worked our, their tails off just for us to be able to race and coke. And I appreciate that a lot. Um, we still have we still have at least five. No, we have like seven races or something like that. So, I mean, there's plenty of time to try to get a win. Um, I will be back at Pro no matter what, December, based on the point system. Um, so, we'll just, uh, you know, I'm not really going anything to do other than else to win. Um, you know, pull some stupid strategy and make something happen. You know, I, that's all I can really do now. 
So that's where we're at. And um, hopefully we'll be back in Coke for next year. I know we'll have a really good, we had really good pro cars uh, in December of last year. So I, I don't really have to worry about that. For sure. Um, I know that. And then going into this weekend, big opportunity for you at Pocono. Where do you want to see out of this team? I know you and uh, I know you, Stephen Lane, and talked about this, but what, what, how exciting is it to be going at the Tricky Triangle next weekend? I mean, it's it's awesome. Um, you know, I I have uh, I have experience on i racing a little bit, quite a bit actually. So when I go, I, I'm going to try to attack it as as, as best I can and to the knowledge of what I think can happen. Um, you know, I, I, I've looked at their finishes. They've just had, they've had the same deal. Like they, they just wreck after wreck and, and just, and just nothing just goes their way. And, you know, I, I expect myself to be able to run in the top 15, if not better at Pocono, no matter really what the situation is. Um, as long as we, you know, stay on the racetrack, finish, finish all the laps and, and beat the trucks that we're supposed to beat. And um, I, I don't really see an issue running in the top 15 with the knowledge of, of Stephen and how hard we've been working this week. Um, myself in the shop personally, being a, uh, a full-time employee now. Um, so, you know, all the effort goes into these trucks and, and no matter what, we I expect myself to finish top 15 and not run, uh, try to be in the top 10 um, throughout these three races. And I think that's the biggest goal that we got. All right. Well, Kane Honeycutt, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and uh, good luck next weekend at Pocono. Thank you.